Hello. What is up, man? Oh, shaking. no, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. There we go. Shooting, heck. We're on. All right, what'd you do? Hit what button? <sighs> I hit show start soon again. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> we'll figure it out. That confangled yeah. keyboard Just is difficult. Fat fingers. I know. You know. Well, sometimes. But it's nice to have a tin key. I, yeah. should, I should buy you one of those um, uh, production keyboards. Yeah, we're low budget here, aren't we? Low budget. Yeah, yeah that's sure. okay. Yeah. Hey. Ooh, big hand back yeah. there, I guess. Elegant Plume just started a live video. Oh, I don't know what that means. I don't either. Just showed up on my phone. Plume, is it mold? I, or not? Uh, man. Uh, we I've, had it go, I've had it go both ways. And, yeah. and I read a uh, scientific study. Uh, okay. That uh, was from a university that studied this. Yeah, and they said it's absolutely mold, um, but there's different kinds of mold, right. too. If uh, it's white and wipes off, I'm good with it. Good. I'm I'll still not, smoke, I'm it. smoke it. Yeah, but, but if it, it's green and yeah. down the foot, I'm not smoking no. that. Shit. <laughs> Hell no. All right, that's simple solution. Yeah. right. All Dang, right, so. we're done. All right. All right, so we're gonna do a new segment. We're starting up today. All right. Um, it's called Masturbators. No, Master Debaters. Okay. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Misread that. Ma- Master Debaters uh, is the show that we're, the segment that we're doing here. And yeah. today, um, what we're talking about, today's topic, yeah. is uh, a burrito a sandwich? Well, this is going to be good because obviously it's not a sandwich, it's a, it's a burrito. Well, you can't be closed-minded on this. Uh, you know, the really, you know, it's a burrito is basically a sandwich just wrapped in a tortilla. Right, but a sandwich is it's different. You know, you've got like two slices of bread, the filling in the middle. A burrito, it's it's just one tortilla wrap. Well, a sandwich can be a wrap. <laughs> That's the problem. Uh, I see your point, but I still disagree. I'm, I think a burrito is in its own category. I don't think it fits into. Into well, that same world of sandwiches. I mean, I, I'm. What, the problem is when you look at a burrito and then you look at a hot dog. You know, the the question is: Is a hot dog a taco? Then, come on, man. A taco is not a hot dog. I mean, how I mean, not? It's the same a, damn thing. A hot dog's not a taco. It's the same thing. I don't know about that. I. I think you're totally off on this yeah. um so I, I i will ask though on the taco question you've got you've got soft tacos and you've got hard tacos right it, it a soft taco just a, a burrito what <sighs> <laughs> i think you're uh, no i think they're both folded sandwiches okay well, i think they're both folded sandwiches and well. and you know it's just a different vessel. Yeah. I mean, that's all it is. A, a hot dog is a taco. It's just a different vessel. Um, I don't buy it. I think a hot dog's a hot dog. A taco is a taco. Hot dog's not a taco. Well, is a hot dog a sandwich? You, uh, no. No, 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 no. Because you got to have two slices of bread. You Why know? do you have to have two slices? You no, know, you can have a fold over. Yeah, but then. I've done that uh, growing up. I'm, don't, we, we, we all grew up with no money. Uh, you took a piece of bologna, a piece of cheese, and one piece of bread, and you folded it over. That was a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> right? Hey, man, I don't know. I mean, you know. It, 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 it's you, an interesting argument. I mean, I, I, I'm going to have to disagree. I don't think a hot dog bun is It's not sliced bread. It's one piece. It's been partially cut open, and a sandwich is just – it's – not defined by the ingredients. It's it's the construction. Oh, my script got screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's got screwed up. <laughs> I've got you reading it on the screen. <laughs> it got all messed up. They're in the wrong order. <laughs> the whole thing. Uh, just my notes. Just my notes. For anyone that's wondering, we uh, <laughs> we had artificial intelligence write a stupid argument, and and we're we're going we're trying to that. work off of it. And yeah. it really, what the truth? When you get down to, I mean, it's a great. I mean, uh, uh, the, you you look at what a taco is, what a burrito is, what a hot dog is, and it's just it's just a meat cradle. It's a vessel. It's a vessel, yeah. Um, I, you know, but but then, you know, you got to get into. 
Is, is a pizza a top of sandwich? What? No, pizza's a pie. No, but, but, but you fold a pizza. And who, do, who does that? Anybody who gets a big pizza. You can't take a, you can't take a New York slice, you know, that's, that's this freaking big and, and eat it because it falls apart. You, you fold that you, sucker over. You get a you knife a, and a fork. No. And you, <laughs> only, only, there's only a few people in the world that use a knife and a fork. The reason I dated Connie in the first place is because she picked her pizza up and ate it. Yeah. She didn't use a fork. Yeah. That's, I mean, that was a big deal. Well. You know, I mean, and. and I, I think it's. Well, I mean, is is a sushi roll just a burrito? It is. But how? Because it's meat stuffed in a wrap. <laughs> it's, an, it's a Japanese burrito. <laughs> it's just meat stuck in a wrap. There's no tortilla. Uh, you know. Uh, here's the thing. A hot dog is a sandwich. A hot dog is also a taco. Mm-hmm. Think of it. If you take a hot dog and you put your cheese on there and your relish, and all you have to do to turn it into a taco at that point, hot sauce. Uh, That's the only difference. I don't know, man. You've had pico. It's the same shit. Pico. Pico de gallo. Yeah. It, it's the same thing as relish and hot sauce. Well. It is. What came first, though? The hot dog or the taco? <laughs> oh. So maybe they're all tacos. Or maybe they're all hot dogs. Do you think tacos I'm pretty were sure the before? Ta- no. Hot dog? I, th- I don't think hot dog came out. I don't think we made a hot dog until uh, probably after baseball. Yeah. After baseball became a thing. Because it's baseball, hot dog, apple pies, and Chevrolet. Yeah. Take me out to the ball. Take me out to the ballpark. You know, um, that's a tough one. I mean, is if pizza? Yeah. If pizza is totally segregated, then <laughs> you could just take a piece of bread. Aaron said, "You said meat cradle." <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you could take a piece of bread and just put jelly on it and call it a, a pizza. No. Why not? You just you you just you're conflicting your own argument here because you just said that if you take one piece of of bread and no, and, I'm fighting and put, your argument and, and the fact that it. you said that a pizza is a pie. But if I just take a piece of toast and I, or bread and I put some jelly on it and eat it flat, it's a pizza. I just think they're own they're their own food in their own right. I don't know. That's just me. Why does there have to be names for things? Right. Should they be independent? Yeah, I'll take my sandwich Italian style. <laughs> you know, and I'll know what you want. You want cheese and mozzarella. And, mozzarella. And a little marinara. A little of this and, and a little, little of that. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Join us next time on Master Debaters as we discuss whether balls should be cradled. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? I wanted to share with you guys these amazing cigars I've been enjoying. Stolen Throne Cigars. These guys have really impressed us over the years with some of their top sellers, such as the Crook of the Crown and the Three Kingdoms. These cigars are absolute must-tries for any cigar enthusiast. They're expertly crafted and have a flavor that's just out of this world. The Crook of the Crown has a bold, full-bodied taste with hints of chocolate and coffee, while the Three Kingdoms has a more medium-bodied flavor profile with a lot of notes of of spice and nuts. Uh, Super delicious. I've been really impressed by these cigars, and I think you will too. So if you're in the market for some top-quality boutique cigars, definitely give Stolen Throne Cigars a try. You will not be disappointed. Just dropped your cigar. I just smacked the shit out of this out of my ashtray, and it <laughs> fell and almost started a fire with the paper we got down here. Yeah, we need to throw some of this stuff away. Uh, so, on this little segment here, I have a question for you. Okay. Um, any idea? I, I did a little Google search. I was bored. How many different names for the activity of sex are there? I'm sure if we're talking like slang. Yeah, I, you know. it was a slang search. But, okay. You know. I mean, there's probably thousands. I mean, and I don't even think it includes. I don't see some yeah. that I know. Bumping uglies. 
Yeah, well, the, yeah, that's on there. Um, fornication, that's okay. not on there. Yeah. You know, the stuff like that. But I've got the classics. Okay. I've got ten classics. All right. All right. Doing it. Yeah. Getting laid. Okay. Um, funny business. All right. No funny business. Mm. Making love. Yeah. Hanky panky. Mm-hmm. Tapping that ass. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, shaking sheets. Okay. I've never heard that one. All right. That's these are classic. It's a classic. Yeah, it's a classic. Amorous, amorous Congress. <laughs> never heard that yeah. one. But, nope. Jumping bones. I've heard that. Yeah. Knocking boots. Yeah. All right. You got any that would be classic? That well, I, think I have I'm to missed? ask here. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you're knocking boots, uh-huh. you is, have to be wearing them. Is this, <laughs> is this under the? <laughs> you wear your boots to bed because you get better traction. Is, is this under the assumption that she is also wearing boots? It doesn't matter about her boots <laughs> because it's all about the traction. <laughs> you got to get in there with the boots yeah. so you get good traction. Well, that's why you just go to the hospital and get those grippy socks. And <laughs> no, they'd rip off the back of your ankles. <laughs> boots, they go up all the way up. Oh, man. All right, so I got some other ones that are one-word wonders. Okay. All right, you ready for this? Yeah. Shagging. Shagging. Screwing. Mm-hmm. Nailing. Railing. Railing is not on that list of one-worders, but a good one. There? I don't know. Yeah. Boning. Yeah. Banging. Okay. Doodling. A doodling. Yeah. Fiddling. <laughs> uh, fiddling's not on the list. I got the good ones. Right? Yeah. Boinking. Boinking. Yeah. Porking. Okay. Yetzing, okay. I've never done that. I've never yetzinged. Never done that. Um, tromboning, mm. but I think that's a different act during sex. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> we should get into the Urban Dictionary. Yeah, definition. Uh, uh, stooping. What? Stooping. No. I think that's a, a Jewish yeah. slang. There. I want you to go home to Connie and be like, "We should start uh, stooping." We can. Sh- Look, you want hey babe, how do you feel about a little stooping? A little stooping. Yeah. We, Man, any com- we got any comments before we move on to the next uh, a little uh, food related phrasings? Uh, Karen says afternoon delight. Afternoon delight is yeah. a good one. Uh, Bobby says making whoopee. Yeah, making whoopee. Yeah. Um, you get uh, uh, morning glory. Mm. Mm-hmm. You have that. It's more <sighs> common. Uh, I got some food-related phrasings. Oh, jeez. Uh, bacon the potato. Oh. Mm-hmm. Butter in the biscuit. Mm. <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> Putting the bread in the oven. Okay. Getting one's kettle mended. <laughs> Putting the hot dog in the bun. Yeah. Is it a sandwich or not? <laughs> Is it a sandwich? That's <laughs> <laughs> a taco. <laughs> Making a pizza. <laughs> Horizontal refreshment. Okay. Yeah. What? <laughs> I don't know. Bam bam in the ham. <laughs> that one's so stupid. Planting the parsnip. <laughs> what? I don't know. Sending out for sushi. <laughs> yeah. What? Tossing a hot dog down the hallway. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This one is not what they say it is. Having your corn ground. <laughs> <laughs> Groping for trout in a peculiar river. Mm-hmm. Uh, bringing an al dente noodle to the spaghetti house. <laughs> <laughs> Doing squat thrust in the cucumber patch. <laughs> Did anybody comment on the food related? Turning the floppy disk into a hard drive. Yeah, that <laughs> works. That works. Did we get nobody who said anything about the food? Related? No. No. All right. No. So this is the what the fuck section. All right. All right. Come on. Bedroom rodeo. Yeehaw. Right. Basket making. I don't know what that is. Mm. Huh. <laughs> Weaving? Weaving the basket? I don't know. Are we talking like basketball? Like you're making a basket? Or like... Uh, it could be that. It could be that. Putting the balls in the hoop? You know putting the I mean? balls in the hoop? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Doing the devil's dance? Oh. Well, that's a 
That's hardcore Southern Baptist right there. Yeah. Hot yoga. Oh. oh, Connie used to go do yo- hot yoga. Uh-oh. Who's going to tell him? I wonder. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Parallel parking? Oh. Hold on. My, my scar went up. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh, rolling in the hay. Okay. Not that big. Yeah. Uh, wet in the willy? I don't know about that one. <laughs> Matrimonial polka. <laughs> Did you know that when Mormon kids? <laughs> oh, I got a good sex story. <laughs> when Mo- you said Mormon, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> when Mormon kids want to have sex, mm-hmm. but they can't, mm-hmm. they do what's called soaking. <laughs> Where's <is> that? <laughs> it's, it's where they go in, you know. And they just sit there, and like they, like he like like he enters. Yes, okay. and they just don't sit. move. They don't do the, yeah, they, the they don't no move. thrusting. Right. They just leave it yep. in there until it goes soft. Yep. And sometimes, sometimes they get a friend to jump on the bed. <laughs> to, to, so they're not doing the action. Right, 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 right. It's not sinning. <laughs> <laughs> if we have any Mormon listeners, they would love to. Hear the backup call to that. Uh, yeah. What's our phone number if there's a Mormon listener and we yeah, get that confirmed? Uh, call in and we'll talk about soaking. So <laughs> Yeah, I kind of curious about that. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, 817-386-8544. Yeah, if you're a Mormon and you can confirm or deny soaking, that would be phenomenal. <laughs> what a great bit that is. Why don't we start with that? Oh, <laughs> So I had. All right, let me, I want to do a couple. No, uh, let's see. Uh, you said bumping uglies, right? Oh uh, yeah. All right. So that was down here in the what the fox. Okay. Um, we've got uh, Chesterfield rugby dancing the goats jig, mm. two person push ups going <laughs> hills to Jesus, uh, putting the wand in the chamber of secrets, Just sitting on sitting. That's sideways. a lot of words. That's a lot of words, though, man. Hey babe, you want to you know do a little putting the wand in the chamber of secrets um, <laughs> for our Harry Potter fans out there? Yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, taking old one eye to the optometrist. Oh, <laughs> oh. no! So I was in. Um, <laughs> I was in so, back to Mormons here. Yeah, <laughs> well, no, it made me think of Orthodox Jews. Okay, uh, and so uh, we were. I was in um, Jersey uh, years ago, and. It was on a Sunday, and we had to be up North Jersey, and we were driving back, and we all there was four of us in the truck, and we were like, "Oh, let's go the back roads." Which the <laughs> what? What do you got? Aaron Scott got on, and he said, "Boy, that's an interesting spot to jump in on." <laughs> <laughs> but good name for sex. Yeah, yeah, interesting spot to jump well, in on. No, huh? I think he. I know. Okay. I get your point. Uh, so uh, we were driving through Jersey, and so we'd taken the back roads, and we drove through this town, which is not uncommon up there, Orthodox Jew towns. And so you see the guys and in, in walking around in their black suits, and they've got the curls and the whole thing. I mean, they're yeah, it's it's business. Um, <laughs> And as we're going through this neighborhood, I have something for you. There, I'm looking in these backyards, and they've got clotheslines in the backyards. Yeah, and so they have sheets out there, and there's one sheet in every backyard that has a hole in it. <laughs> and I'm, I'm not joking; it's just a hole. And I was like, "What?" And so one of the guys that was with me, I was like, "What the shit do they have? Why? Why are these sheets have holes in them? One hole." He goes, that sex sheet. And I said, the what? He goes, they're Orthodox Jews. They're not allowed to see their their spouse nude. It's it's against their biblical religion. And so they lay this sheet between she takes she gets in bed. Yeah. They lay the sheet down. She takes off her clothes underneath the sheet. And then he gets on top. <laughs> and through the hole they have intercourse. Oh. I was like, oh, well, well, that takes away like ninety percent of the fun of sex. Yeah. Well, they were hang drying the sheet, so I guess they were washing it. Is that correct? 
I would hope they washed yeah. it, but they probably hand washed it. Sun bleach, a little sun bleach. Well, you know, I think yeah. I think there was some hand work that went in there, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's take a break. Uh, well, hold on. Oh, you got something? <laughs> All right, sorry. So, speaking of Jews, <laughs> Jewish. You can say Jewish. You can say Orthodox Orthodox Jews, but yeah. you just can't say Jew. No, I didn't know that. Okay. Well, There's rules. All right. So, <laughs> there's this rapper called Lil Kosher. <laughs> <laughs> that I found. In <laughs> oh, can you play? I'm gonna play it. You got something from Little Little Kosher? Yep, real quick? yep, 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 yep. Right. Hold on, let me pull it up. We'll pull it up. Here we go. Let's open it. I found it on TikTok. Little Kosher. Yeah. And is he a white rapper? He is. He is a white. Is it? There... You ready? Yeah. Here we go. Like a dreidel. The dreidel. Ugh. Who thought for a second that the word dreidel <laughs> could make it into a rap song? I don't know. That was funny. Who's Think, it? We got any comments before we go to break? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Aaron said, I guess the foreplay is just cutting a hole in the sheet. Yeah. <laughs> nice pair of scissors. Yeah. yeah. All for right. Sure. Who are we going to? Uh, let's hear a little word for Ellis, from Elliston Marketing and also from Edgewise 8. All right. In need of high-quality digital marketing services, look no further than Elliston Marketing. They're a full-service company that can handle all of your marketing needs from start to finish. Whether you're in need of a custom content creation, social media management, or stunning media like photos and video, their team of experts has got you covered. They're dedicated to delivering the best results for their clients. So if you're ready to take your marketing to the next level, give Elliston Marketing a call today. Are you a fan of beer? Us too. Uh, but if you're looking for a new spot to grab a cold one, look no further than Edgewise 8, your friendly neighborhood brew pub. Located just off Main Street in Weatherford, Texas, Edgewise 8 is the perfect spot to kick back and enjoy a locally crafted brew. They've got award-winning beers from IPAs to stouts to lagers, anything for any type of beer aficionado. They've got a great menu from Firefly Grilling, um, and the food is out of this world. So what more is there to want? Great beer, cold beer, food, everything, good company. Come raise a glass with us at Edgewise 8. Cheers. Man, I can't get that dreidel rock out of my head. That was awesome. That was a great song. That was a good one. Yeah. That was a good one. You heard any good TikToks lately? Man, there's a ton, but I need to figure out how to pull up, like, sling my phone to show videos on the screen at the same time. That'd be great. I know. I think we got to, I think we got to. We need to text them and then or download them and then ship them to the email and we need to figure them. out a way to uh, do like video reacts live. Like yeah, we can play stupid videos and react to them live. That's fun. Yeah, yeah, do that. For but sure. we're gonna do a little bit of name, little round of name name that tune. That today's category today. is. We 80s. need to have intros for these. We need to. We need to come yeah. up. I need to bring my guitar up, and I need to yeah. make an intro for. Um, Here we go. I'm gonna do it on the master, spot. Master debaters. Do this on the spot. Here we go. Right. That's that's the intro. Tonight on talking out the ass. <laughs> Name that, that tune. tune. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got? <laughs> what do we got? What's up? What do we got? All what, right. Am I? Am, uh, you're. I'm, you've got the radio hooked up. I've so. got it. Today's category. Because last time I tried to get you on like '80s rock, and you're like, you know, I wasn't born. Yeah. So well, today's category is '80s rock. This uh, is for you. You're okay. guessing. All right. All right. Here we go. I'm guessing. Can I? Oh, that's uh, uh, Skid Row. Um, 
You got the first part. Uh, do it again. Just do it from the start. Oh, um, damn it. I just went blank. I know this song. Uh, here's uh, your hint. It's not no, no, no. Don't. I don't need a damn hint. Right. What do you think I am? Okay. Freaking dummy. All right. Uh, that is Skid Row, um, Youth Gone Wild. Yep. Got it. You got it. Barely, but you got it. Ah. Skid Row, sometimes some of the intros of their songs yeah. are similar. Here we go. Okay. Ready. Oh, stop. That's easy. Paradise City, Guns N' Roses. Duh. <laughs> ah. Shazam. Stop. ZZ Top. And you, that is, this is why I didn't Sharp Dressed Man. That's why I didn't want to do 80s rock, because you're too good at it. Uh, too Sharp Dressed Man. Uh, do it again. Oh, that is um, Firehouse. Um, ah. Don't 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 be bad. Don't be don't don't treat me bad. Don't treat me bad. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> yeah, Firehouse. That was their song. That was their one song. Hmm. Might stump him here. Uh, Might stump him. That's extreme. Is that what you're saying the band name is? I think so. Hang no. It's not it? No. Oh, fudge. <laughs> <sighs> that, that doesn't count as A's band. Uh, I'm uh, pretty sure it is. <laughs> is that... Uh, uh, I don't know that one. Damn Yankees. Damn Yankees. Oh, I Aaron know. Pinkston would have got that one, I guarantee yeah. you. He's, he's probably, probably he's going to, he's going this high enough, high enough. Yeah. All right. Come on. Oh, Rocky. <laughs> yeah. Art of Tiger. Was that Survivor Art yeah. of Tiger? Yeah. It's playing. It's just a very slow, soft intro. Is that Aerosmith? Um, nope. No? Nope. Oh, no, this is Kicks. Yep. Um, uh, what's it? Uh, I can't play anymore after this. Okay, stop. I got 30 seconds. Uh, that was Kicks, um, and I can't remember the name of the song. It was... Oh, close your what, what are you doing out in the night time? Why are you out here all alone? What the fuck is that song? I don't care. Don't close your eyes. Don't close your eyes. I don't know. That's stupid, stupid fucking song. Oh, that's a, a <laughs> warrant. Yep. Um, uh, warrant. Shit, what's the name of that song? Heaven. Heaven. Uh, heaven, is it too far away? Right. Yeah, I wrote a song. <laughs> I, I wrote a song like that yeah. after that one came out. So we're going to do a speed round. Oh, speed round. How do okay. we do that? You're going to get... Tell me more. Tell me more about this speed round you've discovered. You're only going to get five seconds. Okay. Okay. It's going to be five songs. Mm -hmm. And if I got you, five seconds for five songs? No, no, no. Five seconds per song. You got five songs. Okay. Okay. And you're going to get one point for guessing the artist okay. or band. And you're going to get two points for guessing the song name. Okay. 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 And I'm going to give you... So I get five seconds a song. Five seconds of a song. And, and I get five seconds. Five songs. And you get... So I got 25 seconds total. You get five seconds to guess. Okay. All right. Go. All right. Here we go. Okay. We're <laughs> that was bullshit. Why? <laughs> didn't count. <laughs> All right, here, I'll play the next five seconds. Okay. It's the only one because it's got yeah. a weird intro. All right. That is um, David Lee Roth. Um, and I think that's Elephant Gun. No. I was wrong on both? Yep. That's Billy Sheehan playing bass. 
Mr. Big. Oh, Billy Sheehan playing playing bass. I'm, ah, damn it. Addicted to that rush. Yeah. Yep. That's a good song. So no points. Yeah, zero. All right. Here we go. All right. I didn't get a pin. Uh, that's Scorpion's uh, Rocky Like Hurricane. All right. Got it. Three points. Yep. Got it. Uh, Guns N' Roses. Um, <laughs> that's not Guns N' Roses? No. All right. Dude, give me five seconds more. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> then you don't get the points. You get five uh, seconds. All right. I, I would swear that was Guns N' Roses <laughs> off their... Oh, that's freaking poison. Every rose has its thorn. Yeah. Shit. I was one note all... I, just one <laughs> note's all I needed. Shoot. Shoot, neck. No points. Now, uh, that is... Um, uh, Up All Night, Sleep All Day is the name of the song. And the band is... Um, Slaughter. Yep, so there's six points. Yeah. You got one more song All left. Right. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? I yes. don't know what this is. It's on shuffle. Okay. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Can I get a little help from the audience on that one? <laughs> Do you want a hint? No, I want some help from the audience. I want to... Okay. I wanna, uh, hint from the audience. Okay. All right. Everybody write in your answers. What was that? Give us the hints. Hint us. Somebody. Yeah. Please. Nobody? Anybody? I will say. Oh, it's don't, it was Don't Treat Me Bad. No. No? Nope. Shoot. As long as you don't let me uh, keep playing, I'll give you the points. As long as I don't let yeah, yeah, if you guess it without me playing oh, okay. five seconds, uh, I'll give you the points. I'm out of my head without you. Aaron, Aaron and Marcy both don't know. So, okay, let's play another five seconds. All right. All right. We'll just we'll call this one a, out of my head an oopsie. You. I don't know. We haven't had any lyrics yet. No, I know that's what the lyrics are. That's a good song. Very catchy. Yeah. It's, it's uh, The name of the song is... Uh, the lyric line is, I'm out of my head. The you. first line? Yeah. No. No, no, the lyric... The uh, uh, name of the song is something got to nope. do with out of my head. Yeah. Nope. No? No. The All right, then then skip it. Skip to the middle a little bit and give me a little bit of some texture. The name of the song is the same title as a Kelly Clarkson song. As if I might know those. What's <laughs> Here, I'll go to the middle. All right, thank you. Hold on, let me... Oh, this is dead. This will be... Since you've been gone... Yeah, that's the name of the song. Since you've been gone, I'm out of my head. And it goes on. It says, "I'm out of my head without you." Oh, can't take it. All right, All right. I was close. I was close. Well, that's you want not. one more? Yeah, one more. All right, bonus, one more for bonus round. Bonus round, ten points. Ten points. If you get it. All right. All right. Here we go. Where do I win? Well, that's love song by Tesla. Bing, 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 bing. I know. I know that song. You can't get me on songs I know how to play. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, it was just a random shuffle, so. Karen got it. Karen, Karen got it. Karen got Since You've Been Gone. Since You've Been Gone. Good job, Karen. Yeah, I knew, that, I knew this. I couldn't remember the main verse of that, but I knew it was, I'm out of my head, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Who was it, though? I don't know. <laughs> you were looking at it. Rainbow. Oh, it was Rainbow. Yep. Not a big band. They didn't. No. They didn't. They didn't uh, make the tour. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they weren't. They weren't like headliners at uh, Texas on, Jam. They no. weren't on Warp Tour. No. Nah. Well, back in my day, it was Texas Jam. Yeah. Now, or our day, most of the listeners, Texas Jam was a big deal. So I told a story today about when I was a kid. I worked at a little place called Bruce Music Company, and uh, during the last Texas Jam that was here, Van Halen headlined, and. Uh, uh, 
Sammy Hagar was a singer at that point, and he had the flu or co- a cold or something, and his voice was wrecked. And, and he, you, you, you sang? No, 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 no. Oh, well, um, okay. At at the end of the show or during the show, he he, you know, he stopped and said, "Hey, you know, my voice is wrecked. I'm sick. I've got blah blah blah, whatever the shit it was. I don't know." And uh, he said, "We're going to come back and give Dallas a free show." Oh. So I worked at, a little bit later, I worked at Bruce Music Company, which is a little guitar shop off of Camp Bowie, used to be there. And um, uh, the uh, tour manager for Van Halen came in the shop. Now, this is the same shop that Don Bagdaryl used to come to, because they were right down the street from us at Joe's Garage. And uh, But anyway, um, he was trying to get us to loan him. PA gear because their PA gear was headed to the next show. Yeah. And this was a free show. Right. And the owner of the company, his name was Harvey, uh, <clears throat> said, absolutely. No, actually, that's not how he said it. Let me get my Harvey voice. Uh, Harvey goes, nah, we're not doing that. <laughs> You're Van Halen. You can afford it. You can pay for it. You can buy it. You can buy it all. And uh, so as a result, uh, what do they offer him? I've heard this story before. So what they told him is that, uh, you know, Eddie Van Halen will make this his home shop. He prefers, Van Halen as a whole, prefer to use mom and pop stores for their equipment equipment and yep. purchasing and leases and all the things. And we'll use you guys. Yeah. And um, if you can help us out. Because this was a show that legitimately happening in, uh, uh, at the time it was... Uh, West End Marketplace in Dallas. And uh, Harvey would have nothing to do with it. Yeah. And as a result, they went to Guitar Center and made their deal with Guitar Center. And have, they bought gear from Guitar Center for the rest of the time. Yeah. And we could have been backstage. Me and John that worked there could have been backstage. And he probably could have made millions on endorsements from... Yeah, we could have we actually just could have just hung out with them for a little bit. That yeah. would have been kind of cool. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't care. I meant Harvey. Oh yeah, Harvey would have made, made millions. And years later, years yeah. and years later, I'd I had uh, uh, gotten my financial situation. Me and Connie had been married for years, and and uh, my financial situation was in good shape. I was going to buy a car. Guess who? It was a BMW. And at uh, Audubon in Fort Worth, yeah. I believe. And the salesman that came out was none other than Harvey. Oh. And I looked at him. I said, you don't remember me. He was a jerk. Yeah. He was completely, he screwed us out of so much commissions. And uh, so I made him go get me a new salesman. That's an asshole <laughs> move. And we bought from Audubon ever since. <laughs> I was like, man. Well, oh, that's funny. So, anyway, be sure and like and share. You took my line. Yeah, I know. I was trying to. Uh, be sure and like and share. Uh, certainly does help us out tremendously. And uh, we do appreciate your viewership and listening to us. Uh, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, uh, Facebook, all the things. Google Podcasts. Google Podcasts. And we are considering starting our own radio station so we will kick that around and see how that works out yep all right guys we will see you next time thank you so much for watching see you see ya (laughs) 